fam. Kings and blessings. I hope everyone is doing really well today. Um, I am here. I do have a word for you. I'm in the school line waiting for my um, baby to get out. He just started back today. So um, the reason that I came on today is because there is a rise in false prophets. And I mean, it is getting absolutely ridiculous. And because so many people have itchy ears and they are looking for a word because they're lost and because they need encouragement they want answers that's why that's honestly how a lot of people get pulled into um horoscopes and um tarot cards and um readings and all that kind of stuff they get pulled into that because they want to know the answer now and are not waiting, willing to wait on God for the answer. That's how a lot of people end up getting pulled. So you have these prophets that are coming out and that are saying, oh, well, you have um, financial problems and God is going to fix it. Oh, you have breakthrough on the way and this and the third light. Like, when the prophets are old came, they came with the Lord said, repent, repent. The kingdom of the Lord, the kingdom of God is at hand. If you don't repent, God is going to tear, tear the city down. You know what I'm saying? Like it was warning. Warning always comes before destruction. And people even killed prophets because they did not want to be responsible for the word that was delivered and the word that they heard. So they would kill the prophet so that the word would not be released. That's what prophecy really looked like. Prophecy really looked like, well, God, I don't want to really come on here right now and say this to your people because I know they're going to go off. I know they're going to be ticked off like, God, this is hard. Give me strength. Let the, let the Holy Spirit speak through me and give me a boldness up through you. Because when you really start uh, prophesying truth and teaching truth, trust me, everybody is not going to like it. Everybody is not going to like it. It's only going to be a remnant. It's only going to be a very few that is going to receive the true and living word of God and the word of God is about a king a kingdom and a people so this is all temporary we have eternity to focus on and this is real this whole journey is absolutely 100% real so we we need to be this is something where we got to clean up ourselves we have to make sure that we, we're purged, we're delivered, so that when we stand, we're pure. And we have on new, new unstained garments. We have to really like be putting our best into God because Christ is coming back. He's back soon. He's coming for a church without spot or blemish. So we got to get it right. We got to get it right. That's what the prophets is saying. And you know what? It's going to be a cut, a cut, somewhat of a com conviction there. But when you just got people, oh, yeah, you're going through this. And God said he's going to do this. And you're going through that. And God said he, I mean, God may give that word sometimes. But for the most part, being that hell is literally being released on earth right now. Ancient demons are in operation right now stuff is getting real the scene is being set for the antichrist right now for the mark of the beast for a 666 that is what our father is getting his prophets to speak about right now getting right so that when your body hit the ground and your soul come out that you dwell with Christ for eternity because one or two things are going to happen. Either angels are going to show up or demons are going to show up. And with that being said, I love y'all so much. Don't get tricked. Don't get lured. Don't be deceived by these, 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 these people coming out of the middle of nowhere. I know some of, some, some of, some of you have been rocking with me for a minute. Some of you, I may look be a new face but trust me i've been doing this for a minute and a lot of you know things that god did show me that are happening right now um it, it's 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 like from a year ago 
a year and a half ago. So I don't even be wanting to come on here half the time, but I have to be obedient to the Lord. So I'm here. So as the word of God said, in the last days, the first thing Christ said when his disciples asked, how will we know that the time is near? He said, be sure that no man deceive you. That's the first thing he said. Note it. Be sure that no man deceive y'all. I love y'all. I'm out. We're pure. And we have on new new unstained garments. We have to really like be putting our best into God. Because Christ is coming back. He's back soon. He's coming for a church without spot or blemish. So we got to get it right. We got to get it right. That's what the prophets is saying. And you know what? It's going to be a cut, a cut, somewhat of a com conviction there. But when you just got people, oh, yeah, you're going through this. And God said he's going to do this. And you're going through that. And God said he, I mean, God may give that word sometimes. But for the most part, being that hell is literally being released on earth right now. Ancient demons are in operation right now. Stuff is getting real. The scene is being set for the Antichrist right now, for the mark of the beast, for a 666. That is what our father is getting his prophets to speak about right now. Getting right. So that when your body hit the ground and your soul come out, that you dwell with Christ for eternity because one of two things are going to happen. Either angels are going to show up or demons are going to show up. And with that being said, I love y'all so much. Don't get tricked. Don't get lured. Don't be deceived by these, 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 these people coming out of the middle of nowhere. I know some of the, some, some of, some of you have been rocking with me for a minute. Some of you, I may look, be a new face but trust me i've been doing this for a minute and a lot of you know things that god did show me that are happening right now um it, it's 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 like from a year ago a year and a half ago so i don't even be wanting to come on here half the time but i have to be obedient to the lord so i'm here so as the word of god said in the last days the first thing Christ said when his disciples asked, how will we know that the time is near? He said, be sure that no man deceive you. That's the first thing he said. Noted. Be sure that no man deceive y'all. I love y'all. I'm out.